Welcome to Community Conversations. I'm Frederick County Executive Jan Gardner. And today, as my guest, I have none other than MC Keegan Air, the president of the Frederick County Council. It has been one year that uh, this board has been in office, and we're going to talk about it a little bit. It's been a great year. It's been very successful. It's been a great year. So what's it like to be the president of the county council after serving, um, you know, a, in a different role on the prior um, council? Right. Well, I was vice president for four years, mm -hmm. so <laughs> it's not terribly different because I was involved in a lot of the planning and decision making of the council from previous the previous term, uh, except now I'm solely responsible for it. So if something gets messed up, it's my fault. <laughs> so that, that's different. Um, but a lot of planning uh, goes into it, and uh, we try really hard to make sure that all the council members feel like they have a say in what we're doing, a say in the planning, and um, they have a, 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 a seat at the table, so to speak, so that they understand how things are working and where we're going and what our schedule is going to look like, and so they can plan accordingly. So, so for the people who may be watching this, um, we do have a meeting every week uh, with yourself mm -hmm. and the vice president, uh, Mike Blue, uh, to really go over what's coming up on the agenda to make sure that everything that you need for from the administrative right. side is provided, mm -hmm. right. and just to be coordinated and communicate what's happening in the county. And it is unique among charter governments from yeah, um, what I hear from mm -hmm. talking to others to have such a um, regular meeting and at the communication that we have. And I think that's um, been very good. Um, I also think this uh, council has been very collegial we and has been. really uh, been a great example of good government and civil government. The level of cooperation and willingness to collaborate on everything from legislation that they're working on to um, just collaborate and work together on uh, putting procedures and policies in place for how we're going to get from point A to point B has been um, a, a, a very refreshing change. Yep. I think so. <laughs> yeah. So um, what do you think some of the big accomplishments are of the first year of the County Council? I would say getting a budget passed um, uh, with the six to one vote that we got was. Yeah, I really, really appreciated good. that. That was a that was a big one. Um, but also getting um, livable Frederick through was a big accomplishment. Mm -hmm. uh, appreciated yeah, that. Too. That was a that was a that was a big lift because um, four of our council members had not been involved in all of the process of developing livable Frederick. So to bring them up to speed and to get them comfortable so that they would vote for that was 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 a bit of a heavy lift. Uh, we got uh, Monoxy River plan through, which was, I. there were times I was not sure that was gonna be possible, um, but we were able to get that through. Uh, and I think we, we were able to, to reach a good compromise on uh, what we got in the, in the legislation. So I, th I think we're doing a good job working together and understanding that you don't have to see every issue exactly the same. Uh, you can have a difference of opinion. You can actually vote a different way and try and advocate to get people to your way of thinking. Um, but at the end of the day, when the vote is over, um, the council members are able to put that vote behind them and move on with the understanding that they're here to do the best they can to represent their constituents and to do the best they can for Frederick County. And I think that's that's huge. Yeah, I really think that is uh, a big accomplishment and it really demonstrates um, good government because I do think decisions and votes are explained. Um, the debate mm -hmm. is about the merits of the topic that's right. on the table right. at the time or the subset of right. a big plan like Livable Frederick and that there is a sense of um, a compromise too, right. that right. people recognize that with the budget you may not get everything you want, but if you like most of it, you should vote for it. The mm -hmm. same thing with Livable Frederick. All of these um, big items like that are really pretty complicated, and you could, you could always find a reason to vote against it, but I really see people looking at the big picture, and that really is very refreshing. Yeah, I think uh, there most of the members look at this as um, we're here to do the best we can for all the residents of Frederick County, um, and while I will speak vehemently about my position representing one um, small constituency, at the end of the day, if I can't get everyone else to agree with me on that and we vote, then we move on. And they look at the big picture and not just that small little subset. So I think that's been big. 
Well, I don't know uh, everything that may be within the council's plans for the upcoming year, but obviously we'll have another budget. We'll have implementation of uh, the Livable Frederick plan, so some things are ongoing. Right. I know there's a charter review committee doing its work yes. right now, so the council will yes. ultimately have uh, those recommendations come back. And so um, can you speak a little bit about what may be uh, we have a couple of coming up. coming up. Um, we do have the budget. Uh, the Charter Review Commission will be coming back to us with their recommendations at the end of February. And we will have to choose to pick up some of their ideas and move them forward or come up with some of our own. Um, remembering that it's something that will go on um, the ballot for referendum in November. And we want to make sure that we're not overwhelming the public with too right. many things to, to try and keep track of. So. Um, that will be one of our big things. Uh, we have a strategic planning session in January where we're going to get together on a Saturday and members are going to basically put in place their plans for what they would like to accomplish legisl legislatively for the upcoming year. Uh, and we'll see, we may have council members that are working on the same issue and so I will try and encourage them to work together so that we're not pulling our staff and your staff in too many different directions at the same time. So that's kind of my thought process. Uh, I'm working on solar right now. Um, we have to go back and kind of tweak the solar bill a little bit. We've um, <clears throat> heard from uh, state that they would like us to open it up a little bit more. We, they have um, goals and standards that they would like to be able to hit. Uh, and in order to do that, I think Frederick County is going to have to be a little more embracing of solar. So we're going to try and see what we can do with that. I'm working with the Farm Bureau and various other stakeholder groups to see if we can tweak the bill a little bit and we'll go from there. Um, and I know that we have um, other council members who are working on environmental issues, who are working on um, issues dealing with um, growth and development, and um, various pieces of legislation dealing with issues that are specific to their constituents. So. Okay. Well, it looks like it's going to be a busy and be interesting busy. year. It's going to be busy. Yes, yes. So um, are there any ways that you can talk about uh, how the council has and is trying to engage the public and the way people can get involved in what you're doing? <clears throat> well, uh, if you have followed us for the last couple of weeks, uh, you know that um, we have had to come up with a process by which we will uh, send three names for um, the nominees for the Board of Education vacancy to you. Um, that was not something that was on our, our calendar originally. Uh, well, we, those things happen. <laughs> so, things come up that happen to be addressed. So uh, we uh, had to come up with a process, uh, and that was very public. We talked about it. We discussed it. We came back and voted on some of the provisions. Um, we will be interviewing um, up to 10 candidates um, in a public interview session. Uh, and then, um, well, we'll be interviewing them and having it taped. And then those tapes will be made available to the public. But we will also be taking public input on them at a later meeting so that the public can go back and watch the tapes and then come and speak to us at a public hearing. And um, that's something where the public has been engaged as never before. So that's different. Um, and there's you can contact us. You can go to our website. We have a whole list of topics on our side bar uh, that you can click on and find out what's going on. We have a, a bi-weekly newsletter that we just started that we are sending out so that if you're interested in receiving our newsletter, you can just send us an email and we will add you to the list and you will get a bi-weekly newsletter telling you what's going on and what we're working on. And So there's lots of ways for the public to uh, be engaged above and beyond just calling us or sending us an email on a specific issue. Right. So we certainly welcome people to come in and participate Absolutely. in the public process. Obviously, we hear a lot from a lot of people by email. Um, as we go through the budget cycle this year, I expect to do uh, outreach with a survey, mm -hmm. and I hope that we'll have, um, using some new software, have some better uh, ability to display some pretty complicated information so that people can feel more engaged in the budget. I always feel that's one of the most important things that we do. And so um, I do think that this county council has been off to a good start. I really think um, they've done a good job, and I really look forward to continuing to work with you in the upcoming year. Same here. We're going to continue trying to be as productive and collegial as we can possibly be. So we're hoping for good things in 2020. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today. Sure. And thank you for um, sharing a few moments with us. I hope you learned a little bit about what's going on with the County Council. If you want to contact the County Council, you can always go to the county webpage, which is frederickcountymd.gov slash county council. 
and uh, see what they're up to. And I can, speaking for myself as the county executive, we're always uh, interested in hearing from you and having you participate in open government. Uh, it's what we do uh, really affects uh, the day-to-day -day life of the people who live here, and we're always working to make life better for people. Thank you for joining us.